then actually to where in this area? We're in the fo Floating Island area. So this is Floating Island then. So this is very different than Chris Lyles back when we all played in Modern Mayhem, so about like a year, year and a half ago. This does feel distinctly different. It feels a bit less mystical, I'll, I'll admit. In the original Floating Island, there was just like a very magical kind of vibe to it. I think it was like in the colour palettes and the trees, I can't quite remember. I think there was like a lot more aberrant things, but this time around though, this feels more natural, it feels more foresty. This kind of reminds me of the floating mountains in Avatar. Which, to be honest, I quite like. Oh, I like the pond. Yes, obligatory lake. Oh, I just love the jet. The jet's so cool. Dapajara. Skeleton. Big random... Wait, hold on. Is that a Bronto skeleton? I... Th that looks new. It's probably just a Bronto skeleton skin. I wonder. Is that harvestable? Was that... I don't know about you guys. That just kind of stands out to me. Can we harvest it? No? Okay, well, I mean, that's cool. There's another... Oh, there's Withams. So I'm currently in Leave Me Alone, so they actually can't see me. I am invisible. So I'm, I don't plan on interacting with them, but I do actually want to have a look at them and just see, you know, how their models are. It kind of looks... I think it's the same. Yeah, I think it basically looks the same as uh, they did back in the day, so their models haven't changed. But, for those of you who haven't seen, there is a new um, Wyvern boss. <laughs> it does look really, really pretty. Am I going to showcase the boss on stream? You know what? I think we should. Oh my god, Karkonos. Yes, we have jumping crabs. I'm actually really happy about that. That is something I've missed, is seeing jumping crabs. <laughs> also, Karkonos in general is, you know, polymer sauce. Oh, yes. This is this is really cool. <gasps> rainbow! Ah, little happy rainbow. How sweet. Oh, this is this is really, really cool. Okay, this particular in fact, let's um move away for a moment and actually have a look at it. Ah, oh, this particular area of the waterfalls, this looks amazing. So where actually are we? So you guys are aware as well. We're at 5073. 5073. That is beautiful. Oh, hello, branches. That's really cool. So basically, if you see the giant orange crystal, you know you're here. Ooh. This is really silly. I like this one single floating tree. I know it's a really minimal detail, but it's actually quite nice, the fact that there's, you know, these smaller floating structures among all the big ones. If it was like only big ones, it would get like a little bit... You wouldn't really notice it after a while, but when you see that, like the little small ones like this, it kind of reminds you that, oh yeah, I'm in a floating area. I, I, I don't know, I just think that's a nice little detail. Oh wow, it looks like there's even more floating down, down over there. Right, this is a rather big uh, area here. Now then, do we have the cave around here? Yeah, I do think... I think Unreal's right. I think uh, all the trees is going to make it really hard to spot. Ooh, but I do love the transition, though. I love the transition into the um, red forest. And how it actually starts here. It bleeds into the floating islands. I really like how the floating islands, like the trees, actually vary and bleed into the environment. I like how they're not to their own independent biome. I mean, obviously they are, but the trees vary. This is so cool. I love this. I absolutely love the, the jet tapper. So, they have made one uh, major change to the Eldritch Isles. Some people like it, some people dislike it. I like it, Kev doesn't. And that is that you actually have better visibility here. You can actually see properly. Now, I like it because, in my opinion, the Eldritch Isles before was too dark. Like, it, it's just felt too difficult to see at times. But then... Kev dislikes, you know, Kev misses the uh, darkness because, you know, it made it feel like really dangerous. It felt risky coming here. So I guess it's definitely a bit of a mix, isn't it? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Now that I look on the outskirts, it does feel kind of too visible. 
Yeah, I am kind of inclined to agree with him slightly. Oh god, well they have these then. Okay, good. Right. Um, friend, so for those of you who are not familiar with Crystal Isles, welcome to the AIDS bubbles. These are actual bubbles of water. This is like, it has water physics. Now, back in the original Crystal Isles, <laughs> the captables, what would happen is that um, these had jellyfish and baby squid. I don't know if they still have them. No, they seem to be empty. Which honestly is kind of sad. It was great when I had jellyfish inside them. It was horrible. Yeah, the, the jellyfish, they were awful, but it was nice having them. It does, maybe I'm misremembering, but it does feel kind of barren here. Let's move on to the Arctic region. Now, when we all last played, this area here was completely barren. This is where we did the Pecon boss, so just summoned bosses in, uh, in general. So we've not actually seen this yet. This area in the sunset looks beautiful. And I will actually say one thing. So this is actually a really random thing. But the water, the ocean. I've noticed the texture on this ocean is consistent in all the water everywhere. So even in like little small lakes and ponds and rivers. And it looks beautiful. I know it's such a random thing to compliment. But the water actually, like especially in the night time, it looks beautiful. It's the centre water, is it? Oh, I, I've not played on the centre enough. Let's go back to the Arctic then. I'll tell you what. The coloration looks really bad in this lighting. The map looks really crap right now <laughs> in the current lighting. So what do we have here? That looks like it could be a cave. Oh, that definitely looks like it could be a cave. <gasps> Please. Whether it's building, I mean, building caves are nice, but I, d I do really like actual, you know, PvE caves. Oh, this is a cave though. It's a building cave, I think. Oh, snap. Oh, this is the cave that Vic built in. Damn, look at the size of this. Oh, wait, hold on. Who the, who the hell? <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, this, this is the one that Tim and Vic built in. No, Vic, you built in here in Modern Mayhem, didn't you? This is where um, we took the... What was it? Boto? The big monkey thing? <laughs> hey, hey guys, hey guys. Shall I, um... Sh shall I just raid him? Let's just, let's just quickly raid him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, Tim! Right, anyway. So how big is this then? This is, this is massive. Whoa, was all of this here before? I honestly can't remember. Damn, this is huge. In fact, wasn't there like a big underwater area here? I probably won't be doing the underwater stuff because honestly I just can't be bothered, but I do think that's a thing actually. So that is actually a pretty damn big cave. Like this is what I really like about this map so far, is that a lot of it feels, oh my God, red sky. A lot of it feels like it's going to be really, really huge on foot. I kind of feel like this this uh, map would be a really cool to experience on foot, like with a no-flyer scenario. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to do that to any of you. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys to go no-flyers, but I do think that'd be really, really cool. This area here, the way these glaciers and uh, little ice patches here are done, look really nice. Honestly, the Arctic looks great. I feel like a lot of the Arctic biomes, they're very easy. What is that? I keep seeing it every now and then. It's like these weird, um, kind of like sound waves almost like. That's really strange. Anyway, I feel like a lot of the Arctic biomes in general in this game would look very generic. They look very, very samey. This one, this one isn't too different, but I think it feels different enough. It feels refreshing compared to a lot of the other ones so far. Uh, this part of the Arctic is actually already open. This part of the Arctic oddly reminds me of Stonehenge. There's a wreck there on the island. So I think just because of all like the uh, individual pillars. And I do actually really like that. In fact, this is nice. A nice open Arctic region. So we've got the more condensed one over there. And the more open one over here. I think that's really nice. Like, I really like the Arctic. But it does also feel like very clustered at or very cluttered at times. It feels like there's too much going on all at once. And it's just a mess. 
So seeing like a more open, like a more open range one is really nice to see. What the hell is that? That was... <laughs> That's really fast, what the hell? You're like a UFO, dude! That's actually really fast! You're like literally abducting mammoths and yeeting away! <laughs> oh, I love it! I've, um... I've never seen that happen before. That was amazing, thank you, Tim. You want to talk about UFOs? Oh god, no, mate, no. <laughs> that was so random. That was brilliant. That was that was actually really fast. I've never actually seen the skiff like properly in uh, gameplay before, like outside of you know cheating. So the redwood so far just honestly seems to be quite generic, which is a bit of a shame because I, one thing I would like to see is uh, so, that, so so far in um, this map and other maps they've like really reinvigorated things like the arctic things like the ocean in general uh the swamp too i think the swamp has uh, seen some massive improvement since the island and aberration for that matter but the redwoods i don't know it just feels very generic to me it's pretty don't get me wrong but they feel very very samey like i like how cliffy this one is it's got like a lot of cliffs a lot of um elevation but nothing too obnoxious but I don't know, I think maybe it's a colour palette. I definitely would like to see them do something new. Like, um, ima imagine a Redwoods biome, which just had like a single, absolutely massive world tree in the middle. And imagine a world tree kind of like, um, has like a great big canopy that covers the rest of the Redwoods. And that'd be interesting. Just something like that would, you know, break it up apart. It needs more giant crystals. Yes. Yeah, it, it does. It does need giant crystals. Okay, I think we're about done with the redwoods, to be fair. It, it does look pretty, um... Oh, actually, no, the bee cave. Yes, yeah, uh, Vinesh, that actually is, like, some big bee cave. It was, it was awesome, to be honest. Like, it sounds like a very silly idea. It was actually really cool. <sighs> Finally, that took ages. The glorious, the wondrous bee cave. And, uh... Just, just so you don't think I was being insane, it's like it's on a ramp on the side of a cave-ish. <laughs> they moved. Uh, yeah, it seems like they did actually. So it's at thirty-one, thirty-one. Now, I remember Jackie saying that this was really bad for frame rates, which I believe her with. Oh god, mate, I'm actually really happy to stay in. <gasps> I've been webbed. Oh no. Now I will touch the. Um, Honey in a moment. Obviously, I just want to, you know, I don't want to aggro everything for. I, I do want to actually find out if these things do still aggro or not. <gasps> Wait, that's a point. Wasn't this like the entrance to the underwater area? Now that I think about it. It's got a bit of a weird blue hue right there. Probably because of underneath. Yeah, I forgot. This is actually like a tunnel. There we go. And in here. In the original map, we had all of the uh, baby squids, and they were actually horrible. That's 180. There we go. Thank you, passive. Let's do that. There we go. Now we can actually see things properly, then. Is that Elementor? It is! So you know all those charge nodes we've been seeing? Here we go, then. Element or. Very nice. Fantastic. Uh, clams. Oh, those are the... Um, the Genesis clams. And is that black pearls? No, I think it's regular pearls. Oh no! They're, they're not clams. Oh wait, are they? Can't tell. Right, so these are not the big pearls, but the regular small ones are. So that's just the same as vanilla then. Okay. That, is that, that's an oil vein. Underwater. Okay, I mean, I guess it works. Whoa, oh my goodness, the amount of oil in here. Look at that. So you can definitely see why in the original Crystal Isles this area is covered in a uh, baby squid. Like imagine just all of that inking at you. We've got a got an artifact down here, which is the artifact of the uh, 
Devourer? No. Depths. Ah. The sound of buzzing bees. That does admittedly freak me out a little bit as well. Look at that big ass bee man, just like chilling. Giant worker bee. Oh man, I think Loki's gonna be so happy to see that he's still in the game. So here's a the question then. Back in the original Crystal Isles, if you take the honey, nothing cared. So can you take the honey now? Will they aggro? There's a bear right there. Um. Do you break it? I think you do actually. Yeah, I think you do break it. Oh, they aggro. But the bears kill it. Um, oh my. <laughs> That's kind of weird. So they do aggro, but then the bears just come over and kill it. Kill the bees. So, like... That's a little bit, eh, you know? Oh, look at them, man, they're, they're looking amazing when they're just like walking on the floor. Right, so we have this area here. Now this, I can't imagine of changing too much. So for those of you who weren't familiar with it in the previous Crystal Isles and the original modded one, this area here was basically just a really nice open valley. It was really, really cool, very nice, very pretty. I can't imagine it's changed too much, but we'll have like a quick little uh, glide through. Is that an alpha? <gasps> alpha Raptor. Okay, yeah, I don't think this place has changed at all. That's okay then. Uh, next up, oh, next up, we've got a beachy area. Now, last time, the beachy area was really, really nice. Uh, again, last time on the original version, it was beautiful. And I have, so I have some great, horrible memories in the tropical area. So, this area here, I very much associate this particular area with primal raptors from primal fear this is where i remember seeing all the primal raptors and all the primal carnos and i remember it being terrifying lots of fun but terrifying so um yeah i associate this area with death a lot <gasps> tabajara i do believe there's also a cave somewhere here but as we've already seen from the floating islands the cave is actually quite hard to find so I'm not going to spend too long looking for caves. Black and red to edgy with them. Hello, friend. It's got really evil black eyes. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, there's seagulls. Oh, God. The eyes are, the eyes are evil looking. That's a... Is that an alpha lead? Wait, hold on. What the hell? Oh, that does look really cool. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, hello. Yeah. Well. I wonder. Can we just like casually... Oh, no. Bad idea. Bad idea. Landing. <laughs> so if you ever want an alpha lead, uh, it's probably worth checking out this area here. Apparently it's, apparently it's big enough for them to spawn in. There's another wyvern around here. In fact, yeah, I think I remember this being one of the more primary areas for the women to spawn in. Oh, it's another, like, a really nice coloration one. Damn, they look awesome. This area I really like. I don't know about you guys, but this area actually feels nostalgic to me. Uh, minus the giant crystals, of course. Whoa, that is a pretty looking one. That one's blue. Hold on. <gasps> look at you. It's a tropical one. Ooh. I love this area. Like... This is one of those areas that are um, just very original, as far as the game goes. It's my favourite biome so far. <sighs> my favourite biome so far. Honestly, probably here, actually. Don't get me wrong. A lot of the map is really beautiful for... Ve oh, oh, is that a wild drop? That's a wild drop. Right, now we know. Now we know where they spawn. Well, now I know. <laughs> what level are you, my friend? Oh. Okay. You look like a monster. You're a wicked level. And your stats are pretty decent as well. 
Damn. <laughs> yeah, Vic, mate. Come, 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 it's all yours, dude. Right, so, that's, so this is where they spawn then. Makes sense, this area's quite fitting for it. Yeah, as I was going to say, though, in general, like, this map is absolutely beautiful. There's, like, a lot of perks and a lot of different biomes, but I think this one's my favourite, just because, one, it's very unique, or very original is probably a better word, and it's very clean. It doesn't feel cluttered at all, and a lot of the other parts do seem, like, quite a bit cluttered. I, li I really like large open areas that aren't flat, if that makes sense. Like, Ragnarok has a big issue for that. A lot of the open areas are really, really flat. Here feels, you know, it's got like the right amount of uh, variation. And water for that matter. It's really spacious. This area is beautiful. Okay, but I should move on though. Let's move on to the desert. That one's beautiful. Hold on, friends. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. Whoa, that, that has got to be downright the prettiest wyvern I've ever seen. Yo. Right. The desert. Mate, we have some incredible memories from what it may have in the desert. What what didn't we see? Jesus. We had, um, we had like, broodmothers. We've had spirit wyverns. We've had gigas. We've had, like, primal and origin rexes. Origin Wivens, um, Skeletal Wivens and Quetzes, and just a whole plethora of Alphas and Toxics and Primals. Yeah, this area is just death. But obviously not here though. Oh yeah, all the tribe chiefs. Yeah. Right, actually, you know what? Let's just go straight in here. Let's go check out the Wiven Trench. So this is the new Wiven Trench. And from what I understand, this is where the heirs are meant to spawn in. Are there any now? So there's no nests, so you can't um, egg snatch like you used to be able to. Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I just saw something. Oh, hello. Hello, big fiery boy with the pure... Oh, egg. Egg. Wait, you have a skull. Oh! <gasps> It's a skull helmet, boy. An ember crystal wyvern. I don't know if that's the aggressive one or not. We're about to find out, actually. Uh, friend, passive. Okay, these are aggressive. This was dropped by airs. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'm confused. I'm gonna nick that. There you go, then. That said it was dropped by airs. But the airs are not tameable, are they? That's interesting. I, d I don't know how the eggs were. I did not know there were eggs. I thought someone said that they didn't include it. Oh, Viola. <gasps> Ground Viola. What's that? Oh, hello. That's lag. That's another blood one. Ooh, ooh, that's beautiful. What are you? You're a tropical one. What are you doing out here? You're beautiful. Oh my god. There's so many cool things. I love this. Guys, isn't it great when everything's just new and mysterious? I, I miss that, dude. I miss when things are new and you're like piece of candy constantly. There's an alpha. Ho ho ho. Hello, my pretty 240. Wait, hold on. 240? That's above cap. That is extremely above cap. 240. We're on a 180 server. The maximum level for Wivens and Rock Drakes is 228. That's 240. So you get an Alpha Crystal Talon, you get a whole ton of Primal Crystal, which is amazing, beautiful rainbow stuff. You actually get gear. Now that's really nice because Alpha Wyverns don't give gear, so that's actually a nice change. And yeah, that's like what, 50? 90. And what if I harvest it? Uh, Prime cri Crystal. So you actually should up get Crystal just harvesting it like this. Wow. It doesn't stack. Not yet. As soon as the stacking mods update, that will, I like, I guarantee you it will stack the same way as with milk. I guarantee you. Damn, you get a lot of crystal from this. This is a primitive pick. On um, two times harvesting. Is that another one? Hello, friend. That's another one. 168. Damn. Oh my god, the amount of wyverns. 
Whoa, they're, spaw they're spawning on mass. Look at that. And are those the tropical ones? The tropical ones are attacking with them. Oh, this is interesting. The tropical ones are meant to be the passive tames, the um, friendly ones. So do they actually help each other? That, that'd be great if they do help each other. You have a feeling all the, all the wooden skulls are heirs? Well, that's weird because I could have sworn I saw a screenshot where um, someone found an heir and it was in the name. And these ones haven't been showing it in the name. So, I mean, it could just be Super Spyglass, you know, having an issue. Let's see. So we zoom up. Oh, it is an heir. You're right. Oh, okay. Wow. That's got a hell of a long name. Wild male tropical crystal wyvern heir. Right. So yeah, you are correct, Jackie. So it just so it so it doesn't appear in the super spyglass. So in other words, you've got to be careful. That's cool. So there really are like a ton of variants here, which I have to say I'm very happy about. So, like I, I I like variants, you know. I feel like that when they introduce you know multiple variants of the same creature, it just adds diversity. It makes it you know it keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Is that a unicorn? That's that's a unicorn. Unicorn in the desert. All right then. Otherwise, for so the rest of the desert, it looks it looks nice. I think it's about the right size, to be honest. It's not anything too large or too uh, obnoxious. And now we have some proper old school, um, kind of like foresty area here. And mushrooms. Oh, unexpected, but nice. And then we got like this big swampy area here, don't we? So when we played before, this entire area here was just completely undone. Like this is blank. When we played it before. Oh, is that organic that's our organic polymer plants? Oh, does that still work the same way? These are from um oh, I can break them. Yeah, these are from extinction. Thatch, wood. Oh, I think they're just regular trees here. Which is a little bit disappointing. But then again, though, we mentioned it earlier. You know how we were saying with the redwoods? It'd be nice if they uh, add like a bit of diversity in the trees. To be fair, I am glad that they did that here, actually. Is this something? Oh, no, I think it's just a waterfall. Ooh, but it's really nice, though. Bit of, uh, oh, wait, a bit of metal. Oh, this is a really nice little waterfall here. I like these subtle, partially hidden ones like that. Bit of bamboo. I like it. I, this is actually a really nice uh, variation. In fact, it's got all sorts of plants. It's got bamboo, it's got cacti. It's got a little secret lakey area over here with tons of metal. That's a point. I've not been seeing much metal. Which is some relief. I'm actually really happy about that. One thing I've noticed is ever since Ragnarok, they've gone ham on the metal spawns. It's been really obnoxious. Like Valgero was incredibly over the top. Uh, Genesis, I think I think Genesis was about actually. I can't remember. They'd be like massively overdoing the uh, metal spawns. I don't think I've been seeing quite as much here. I really like this area. It's got a beautiful diversity of all the different foliage that exists in the game, and it's really cool to see it actually all come together like this in like some big combination. You know, finally, you know, they're using their resources. They're not just making, like, the same copy-paste, uh, copy-paste, uh, copy-paste, um, templates. That's a big-ass tree right there. What's going on over here, then? Did we suddenly get a world tree? Oh, it's red crystal. Oh, hello. Wait, where are we? Are we going towards the floating islands? No, we're not, actually. This is not the floating island, it's just like a very vertical area. Oh, this is really, I really like Swamp, swamp Drasil. You know what, Draki? I actually think it is Swamp Drasil. Look at it. Oh, I imagine running around here, like this honestly seems like it would be such a fun No Flyers map. So I have felt quite a few changes here and there compared to like what we were used to back in Modern Mayhem. But for the most part, Whoa. For the most part though, this does feel really, really nice. I do like what they've done with this. So this is the red forest area. 
And that is some big, ominous red fog, especially in the dark. Damn, look at that. Oh god, I forgot about this area. Oh, these are beautiful. These are the ember crystal, crystal wyverns. Look at that. Oh, that is stunning. Right, guys. How many of you wanted the forest wyverns from the forest titan? Well, here you go. Forest wyverns. Oh, that's awesome. I know a lot of people really, really wanted that. And this entire area, I can I just say? Damn. Th this looks crazy. Whoa. Okay, when I hide my UI, it gets darker. <laughs> so, this is really cool. And I also really like all the little ambient little uh, green aberrant orbs. Like, that really just sells the environment. Oh, that is really, really cool. Titanosaur! That's, that's a... Uh... Alright, cool. So we also get to experience floating titanosaurs. Excellent. I am strangely happy about this. Seeing a titanosaur... Actually... That... Wow, you can't even see it. Seeing a titanosaur is actually dwarfed by the trees... Is honestly really cool. Like, think about it for a moment. How often do you see the titanosaur dwarfed by trees? I don't think I ever have done. That looks really nice. It really makes the plate, like, it makes the biome, like, me on the ground, it feels like I'm surrounded by giants. That is something that's really lacking in a lot of the game. Is that a lot of, like, the, the, the trees in general are just really small. Or too large. Ho oh, ho! That's really cool looking. Yeah, this looks awesome. Now this is a wyvern drench. There's no wyverns, but my point is, is that like all of this lava, like how shallow the lava is, is here, is aesthetically awesome. This looks, this looks incredible. This looks absolutely incredible. Is this, is there not lava down here? Could you build down here if you wanted to? I mean, I don't think you should, but it looks like you could. And here's the awesome pink trees. These these are awesome. Th this area is like a just very nice, pretty one. I can see like a Loki, for example, building here. Loki, Draki, Annie. Oh, oh, the oil area. Is this area still overpowered? I forgot about this. This area, for those who didn't know, is like this is the most rich oil farm you will ever find in the entire game. And, yep, it still is. Let me show you why this is the most overpowered oil farm in the game. So, you've got all the big rocks. You've got the big rocks, you've got the small rocks. These are all oil nodes. Get an Anki or whatever. You've got your um, oil nodes here, so they can put your oil derricks on top and actually, you know, pump oil back out. And, third option, are these little oil spills on the ground. These can be whipped. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So if you come here with like a whip, uh, just onto these little nodes alone, you get tons. In fact, can I do that right now? Can I whip on the back of a drop? No. That's understandable. Yeah, that's on, um, what, two times harvesting? That's pretty good. Two times harvesting with a primitive whip, that's really good. A hunched oil, straight up. I've spent three hours happily exploring the map. I've got a Capra coming towards me. Thanks. Yeah. I've spent three hours happily exploring the map. I'm really happy how it came out. I really liked Crystal Isles anyway. It feels wonderfully optimised compared to how it was before. And a lot of the changes kind of felt good. Like, um, I, to be fair, I've... It's already at the point now where I've already like forgotten a lot of how certain areas originally looked. Like overall, it looks really, really good. Like this new version, I think it looks fantastic. It's really nice and polished. I think it did a really fantastic job, and it doesn't have the lighting glitch. No lighting glitch. No stupid, obnoxious like black hole shadows and you know supernova sunlight. Honestly, the lighting on Valgaro is so goddamn trash. I'm so happy this map doesn't have that issue. I, I've been needing a alternative to Ragnarok for years. 
like Ragnarok, uh, Ragnarok, sorry, was so well done at what it was. It was such a perfect sandbox map that Valagero and anything else afterwards just didn't feel, it just didn't feel right, you know? I think this will finally be the map that replaces it. I'm, I'm actually genuinely happy about that. <laughs> because, like, as good as Ragnarok is, it's gotten old. It's really old. It's really boring. But there was nothing else that really can't quite, you know, fit the bill. I'm happy, man. I'm also quite glad that they kept uh, Crystal Wyvins. In fact, you know what? I really like that not only do they keep Crystal Wyvins in, but they actually kept it as a main focus. Can I just say, like, considering how... It's wildcard, you know, they do tend to uh, gut out the modded maps quite a bit, like Valgero and this. They've removed, like, a lot of the uh, spawns and such, like Rock Drakes. Considering that, I'm actually really happy that they kept in um, the Crystal Wyvern. So now that I mentioned that, I just remembered the Griffin Trench. Yeah, the Crystal Griffins probably don't exist, but, but, but there are Griffins, though, so they should exist. Down here? Yes. Oh, mate. Oh, there's a lot of griffins here as well. Look at the amount of griffins. Now, this area in the past had um, severe spawning issues. <laughs> so it's going to be fu it's gonna be fun to see that sort of thing. Th then nests. Can you actually collect? You can. Oh, it's stone. Okay, it's just a little stone then. I think that's cool though. That's a little addition where um, it kind of makes them look like treasure hoarders. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that the Crystal Griffins did not make it in. That's understandable though. To be entirely honest, they looked really dumb. I actually don't mind that they didn't make it in. Oh my god, look at the amount of feathers. I just noticed. Look at the ambient feathers here. You can tell it's a Griffin Trench. This place is littered. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. Well, this seems like a good way to actually end the reel now.